yeah, we will at some point have to use the adrenaline pin on him, which is a scary thought. But look, it is what it is. This is now our reality, so it's just about learning, learning how to, how to deal with it. When I was a trainee doctor, allergy was just emerging, and we're now finally into the era where we can plan to treat people with peanut and other food allergies with immunotherapies. If we see a child with peanut allergy now, and he's two, we'll see him maybe six or seven times before he's 14 or 15. But if you have immunotherapy, you get 26 visits a year for two years. Where are we gonna fit these people in? Where are we gonna do it? You know, if it was gonna take me one patient every half an hour to just see all the 40,000 peanut allergic children, I will have to be cloned four or five times to get the number of doctors to even treat the most severe patients. This is a crisis of absence of planning. The children that I saw when I started practicing back here in the 80s and 90s, their children are more aggressively allergic than what their parents were. Now, why that's happening, I do not know. I think we need a, a larger conversation in Ireland and in Europe about allergens and that people are actually, you know, getting sick and dying here and we don't hear half of the stories. And there's so many kids crying out for help at the minute. It's going to take something serious to happen.